Ciati, ye juan Rafa stinga, bis reserva, alles nite, walfle, dal cacciatur, sminil gami, waral mokri. I'm doing here is now I'm checking legs for now this is a very very um, huge mistake in my program if you look here I'm saying if Rex found is equal to zero what it basically means that any value other than zero will be considered as valid two will be considered as valid yet a combination of login name and password should only return one record. I like to call this assertive programming, meaning that it would have been far, far better code had that if statement been if Rex found is not equal to one, then it is invalid. Only one would be invalid. I need to point out that having said this does not imply that that code using an unescaped string to the database is a good approach. There are still many ways in which a hacker can SQL and inject even this type of logic. But each step, some of the examples I used, would have been catered for had that line been changed. It's always good practice that you never give out whether it is the login name or the password which is invalid. Why? Because if you say password is good but login name is invalid, it doesn't make sense. But if you were to say that or login name is valid but password is incorrect, you've helped the hacker. The hacker would then decide to keep the login name constant and start simply changing the passwords. Uh, having said that, I would like to point out that in our situation with the email button, which I'll discuss later on, a hacker can figure out valid login names. And I'll, I'll explore this later on. If the user gives a correct password, what I'm doing, I'm saving the username part of the session. I'll be needing that later on. And I'm going to transfer control to that page for validated members. Never either display or store the password. In fact, in, in a good secure system, the password should never be read into the form. Ideally, you should have a system in which you have a procedure and the server in to which you supply a username and password and this procedure returns back whether that combination is a valid user or not. I mentioned as well that the password and other sensitive information should be held on the database in encrypted format. If something is stored in a form, a hacker will probably read it. The last button um, I have here is the button which emails the password. Now, as you will see in, in this case, I'm going to say invalid username. If the username is valid, I'm going to say email has been sent. So uh, this, in a sense, is another shortcoming on the form. It contradicts what I've just said earlier on.
need to have take a decision um, on how to word or phrase the message to a user asking for his password. You might want to say, right, if your username is valid, we've sent it to you. That could be a solution. Here, in this form, I have very similar codes to the one I had before. It's a SQL statement, but this time I said, get me the password and the email for the person whose username is the one specified in the text box. I attempt to read the database and if for whatever reason, I did not use it before, but if for whatever reason something happens at the database end, I am going to tell the user there is a problem. But I'm not going to specify what the problem is. I notice in a lot of forms um, that error checking is, is somewhat scarce. And when, for whatever reason, the database crashes, you get a dump of a lot of information that in my opinion it should not be made visible to both technical as well as non-technical users. So never give out errors because that may tell a hacker something which you would not need to part with. Now, another shortcoming in this code is that using email, the password is sent to the user requesting it. It is far better to have a mechanism where the reset the excuse me the email my password generates a new password this means that when the user asks for the password to be emailed a new password will be generated In this case, I'm closing all the connections, both the database and the data reader, and I'm checking whether an email was written. If the username exists on the database, the email should not be blank, because one of the conditions of the database is that the email cannot be left now. Alpe Pushio Durin 